Right, Steve, uh, two games into the season, you've had two very different sort of strikers to test yourself against. How have you found it so far? Yeah, it's been uh, enjoyable just to get back into it, really. Um, like you said, yeah, there's been uh, two different strikers, really, with uh, the strength of Gillingham and then the pace of Brentford, really. So, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been good, but uh, two games, and um, I think we've played quite well in both games, so it's been decent. Have you ever come up against a stronger player than Akin Fenwa? No, no, definitely not. He's definitely the strongest one I've ever played against, so... Yeah, he's a big boy. It's a bit of a battle, yeah. And do you, do you almost prefer playing against players like that than players like Forster? <laughs> oh, God, no, no. Behind him. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> you got to film these. It's like being at an England press conference, isn't it? Um, yeah, do you almost pl- like playing against the physical players more than the, the, the players you're going to run in behind? Or do, do you not um, yeah, I, I reckon so, yeah, especially the older I'm getting. Um, but, I mean, it's always a challenge and um, I enjoy it and... Uh, different challenges every week so um, yeah it's uh, look it's still be playing so it's, it's good yeah. you scored in your first friendly at Wadden Road and now it'd be nice to get off to a winning start in the first home game on Saturday against Crew. yeah of course um, you obviously want to score goals but um, got <laughs> Ding all well, that. yeah you obviously want to score goals but uh, as long as we win the game then uh, if I score if it's good, that's it yeah. do you think the early signs are good from, from, I mean, you haven't won a game yet, but a good result at Gillingham, and then perhaps a bit unlucky to not to win or get a, take a dress of time on Tuesday. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, um, I think we played very well in both games. Um, two different types of games again. Like um, Gillingham was um, very committed defensive wise, and it was a lot of hard work. And Brentford, we, we managed to uh, play a lot of good stuff at, at times. And um, I think we were very unlucky. Like like it's been mentioned, the, the goals were soft in the space of 10 minutes and that's something we'll work on but apart from that I thought we put in a really good performance Thank as a team and um, I mean uh, personally I feel we outplayed them uh, they're a league above and uh, it's very positive for us yeah Yeah. and the diamond's been used in both games do you think that'll be conducive to, to more sort of passing football especially at home when you, when you come up against a team maybe with the onus is on you to win yeah I think so I mean um, the gaffers obviously likes that formation and we've got the players who can play in that formation so um yeah, it's a formation that he likes, and, and hopefully we can we can produce the results in the in the in the performances to warrant playing that. And um, I think teams will find it difficult in this league, especially with the man in the hole. Um, I've played it. I've played against teams who've done it before, and we found it difficult. So it's a good system when it works. And uh, I think at the moment, over the last two performances, uh, it's looked like it's working. So uh, long may it continue. Yeah. yeah, and it's a completely new back four. All all new signings this summer, and I've, I've mm. found settling in with three new teammates at the back yeah it's been fine I mean we've um, obviously got fit we've played in pre-season so um, yeah I mean it'll only get better as well hopefully and um, the performance against Gillingham I thought we we defended very well um, especially second half and um, yeah second half against Brentford they never really had a sniff at goal really so um, yeah it's very positive we'll just try and look for the clean sheet now and uh, build on build on that